In this video, we're going to be talking about overcoming fear with faith. And you might ask, well, what is faith? Faith is simply a sense of desire followed by expectation. Because you have a lot of people who want to be successful, who desire to be successful, but very few expect to be successful. Because there's a difference. See, when you think about people who want something and desire something, that's just simply a wish. But expectation is followed by behavior. Because see, when you think about faith, the greatest form of faith is preparation. So when you expect something, you actually prepare for it. Because again, we live in a world that is inundated and saturated with fear, but how do you actually overcome that fear? And you overcome that fear by expectation, meaning that you understand that the destination is far more greater than the process because we're all gonna go through different challenges and obstacles, but how many of us are gonna stay focused to finish on the project, the plan, and the purpose for our lives at hand by understanding that what's at the end is far more greater than the process of going through it to get to that destination. And see, a lot of it comes down to pressure, peer pressure that is. And I know when we think about peer pressure, normally we think about young people. But if we're honest with ourselves, most adults, they experience more peer pressure than, than young people do. But when it comes to peer pressure, most of the time the peer pressure that anybody falls into really sets them up for failure. You know, years ago, there was a man named Noah that lived on this earth and he was given instructions to build an ark. And he lived in an area where they had never ever seen rain before. And so Noah is building this ark and people are riding by his house, you know, calling him crazy because he built this big boat and it's never rained before, but he's preparing for rain. But the thing about Noah is that Noah was looked at as somebody who's crazy. He was looked at as somebody, you know, who's out of his mind. And in the end, Noah built a boat because he expected the, the rain to come. And guess what? It came. And when it came, everybody who laughed at him, they died. <laughs> and it's not to sound like morbid or anything like that, but I want you to clearly understand that there's something that you probably want to build too. It might not necessarily be an art, but it's something very comparable. And I want you to always make sure that you always make your expectation greater than your temptation. Meaning that the thing that you expect, make sure that it's greater than the temptation to quit because those who are gonna criticize and ridicule you for something that they're scared to do. Always stay focused on finishing and make sure that you always overcome fear with faith. Because again, faith is a sense of desire followed by expectation. So when it comes to the things that you want, when it comes to being successful in your life, make sure that you don't just desire it, you don't wish it, but you expect it. And meaning that you do things to prepare for your success. Because again, the greatest form of faith is preparation. Because anything that we don't expect, we don't prepare for it. So I wanna encourage you in your life, always expect to be successful, always expect to get the best, and always make the expectation that you're gonna overcome fear by using faith. And remember, when it comes to peer pressure, we all might fall into it sometime, myself included. But we have to understand that when we fall into peer pressure, we're just setting ourselves up for failure. So I wanna encourage you to make sure that you overcome fear with faith by expecting you to be successful in anything that you do. Because just like Noah, some people might call you crazy, but in the end, they might be dead alongside in a neighborhood that won't grow or a job that's gonna to lead to a dead end because you see something much greater than where you are right now because you understand that your location is not your destination. And where you wanna go, you're focused on getting there regardless to what happens. So always stay focused on finishing and make sure that you overcome fear with faith. This has been Chris Cannon, your encouragement coach, reminding you that the battle is not lost unless you accept defeat.